Okay, so um, I'm learning something about Jet. Jet is one of those, and, and I've done this on jobs too. People will pick out something that is truly butt ugly, and I look and I'm just like, I don't know about that. And instead of actually saying anything about it, I'll just say, oh yeah, that looks good. And I found out that's something that Jet kind of did because he was like, I wasn't sure about the tile in the bathroom. He said, but man, this looks really good. I said, wait a minute. You told me it looked great before we put it down. I asked you, was, am I crazy for that? And you said it looked nice. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Everybody stops and waves and all. So here's the thing, a couple of things here. Because we only have 28 inches of space, I want to maximize the amount of space that we have for the vanity in the bathroom because you always want you know a few more inches. And if you go with the standard one that's 24 or 30, 30 is too big, 24 is too small. So I'm custom making these, which is good because I'll probably end up saving now the, the faucet and the sink cost 150, but we were looking at um, a vanity set, basically $500. And being able to build this out of materials we have, I think it's gonna be cool. So here's what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna paint the cabinets white. White cabinet, right? It's gonna be open on the bottom, so you put towels on it. That's the new style and everything else. It'll look all cutesy and things, right? And then we're gonna put a vessel on top of it. Now, the light fixtures and the, all, the, all the fixtures and you know for the sinks and stuff are all black. So we know we're gonna put black. Because this is broke ass media and we don't have a whole lot of money, um, I figured I would go ahead and I'd take a piece of this countertop that I made from McLean wood. And we're gonna put spar urethane, which is sealed up and make it completely waterproof. So this is, um, this is actually the other one in the second bathroom, there goes the train. This is the one that's gonna go in the downstairs bathroom. Now, I wanna show you something, and I kinda of got that, oh yeah, that's that beautiful look, which makes me wonder, is he full of shit? Hold on for a second. Okay, boom, black vessel sink, and the faucet. There we go. This will have a nice hue to it because we'll be using the oil-based spar urethane, which will give it a glow. And then you have the white cabinet underneath of it. I think it looks good. You tell me. You tell me. I think it looks great. But hey, it's here. It's going in. <laughs> and we're going to like it. That's what I can tell you. We're going to like it. Okay, so here's where the magic happens, okay? Um, this is spar urethane, which is an exterior urethane. It does come in latex, which is water-based, which is... It dries quickly. You can recoat it in an hour. You can be done in one day. But it doesn't last as long as the oil base. The oil base takes a lot longer. But the thing about the oil base is it gives it a hue that the color to me is unbelievable. Now, I've got my holes drilled in here for the uh, faucet and for the um, sink. Look at that. You see that? This is a clear semi-gloss. Now, the reason I cut the holes in here ahead of time is I want to get some of that varnish inside there to seal it up just in case any water happens to run down inside of it. Now, isn't that beautiful? going to be a totally unique bathroom. Actually, I can say this is going to be a totally unique house. Look at that. Oh my God. Unbelievable how beautiful that looks.
Now this spar urethane is, um, oh, I tell you what, if you watch my other channel, um, you know I did my fireside chat, right? The top that I made for that, uh, my fire pit is a spar urethane. And I probably made that fire pit uh, about four years or so ago. And that top has been outside all four years. It's UV protected, so it won't um, fade because of the sun. And it's uh, waterproof. You, uh, boat builders will use spar urethane uh, to protect the wood on the boat. Look at that. And that, my friends, is the beauty of antique hard puffing. And to think that this was two by fours and floor joists from the house that we reclaimed once we had to uh, take it, you know, take those walls and stuff down on the floor joists that rotted out on the ends. You know, we'll get three coats on this minimum. The more coats, the more glassy the look. Now, the one thing I'm curious of and I don't know is when I do the epoxy resin, if it's going to give me the hue like this as well. So what I may actually do is I may go through and put a coat of this on first before I put the epoxy resin so that way I get my color. Because that, my friends, that is the money look. Now, if you're using oil base, you always want to use a Chinese bristle brush. Don't get the throwaway brushes because they end up leaving so many of the uh, um, bristles in there. You have to clean this now with paint thinner, uh, mineral spirits. And uh, I'm just going to put it in a cup with mineral spirits because hopefully tonight I'll be able to put a second coat on this. But doesn't that look beautiful? So I'm going to go out here and I'm going to finish sanding the other one and we'll get a coat on that one today as well. And then I'm going to start building the cabinets. The nice thing is, is um, we have the windows open up here. So we've got and the fans blowing so we can get ventilation. Uh, the air is very, very dry here, which will also help. Uh, it's not humid uh, for this to dry. So we might get lucky. And I think it says it'll dry to the touch in one hour, you can recoat in four, and it would be great if we could. All right, that's gonna look gorgeous. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. That's pretty. Look. Ah. Okay, so after Jet basically said, I have no taste, you know, that, 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 that he, he looked at that tile and thought, mm, might be much, and, and then he did the same look with the sink. I, I don't, you know, I, I know he's like, I don't know, man, a black sink. This fool done lost his mother humping mind. Okay, look, look, he, see, just a minute, just say it. This guy's tacky and has no design sense, okay? I, it's okay. Oh, snap. <laughs> it's yeah. okay. You wanna go there? Uh -huh. <laughs> no design sense? Okay, all right, so anyway. You know, it's gonna be what's gonna be. It's what we got, okay? It's gonna be pretty, I can tell you. Yeah. It's gonna be pretty. Damn. You know, check this out. Hold on. I'm gonna tell you. There's a little secret with this one, and it doesn't. Right at the front. Right there. Ooh. All right. I like it. Tricks and tools. Yeah. <laughs> He's up there, bang! bang. Yeah, it's what okay. it is. And here we go. It's numero uno. It's going down tonight. And he got it tight. I do, bro. Okay. All right. Kitchen floor coming down for real. Going down for real. All right. So I'm going to get out here because i got to start building these cabinets. I'm a little behind on uh, where I wanted to be, but... That countertop, oh man, that looks good. And we're just kidding, Jet's cool. Jet's cool. And he knows I have no design stuff, but it's all right. 
Uh, you know, I, I'm not a real designer. I just play one here on YouTube. There you go. There you go.